Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Chikimak II, and I am the Digital Painter. This week, we're actually going to be answering a question from YouTube. But before we get there, make sure you stop by www.thedigitalpainter.com and check out the website. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new to the channel and you're looking at a way to say thank you to me, I have a Patreon account. That's patreon.com slash the digital painter. Any and all support is welcome, but understand, even if you don't give monetary support, just you watching the video and hitting the subscribe button on the YouTube channel is support enough. So thank you so much for coming by and thank you for enjoying the video. All right, we are back on the iPad this week because, again, I wanted to answer a question. And I received a question from Raymond. And Raymond asks, in regards to Sketchbook or Sketch Club, on whether or not there's a copy and paste function in the app. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. I have it already open. Do, do, do. Now, the first thing, obviously, that we need to do is put uh, put some imaging down. So what we're going to do, uh, let's switch to, I don't know. I haven't used this in a while, so we're just kind of playing here. Let's grab just a fun brush. Let's do this. Uh, I like that one. There we go. It's a little big, so we're going to going to reduce the size a little bit. Now let's get a nicer color than that. Let's grab... Uh, there we go. Oh, I don't like that brush. I thought it was going to be a fun brush. That brush sorely disappointed. So let's try a different brush, shall we? Let's just grab... What's this brush do? There we go. And well, let's just, we're just gonna make some marks right now. I'm not really painting anything. I'm just kinda putting some stuff down. And you'll see why, because we're gonna look at the we're gonna look at the copy paste. Or lack thereof, I guess would be a better way to put it. I'm not a big fan of the copy paste that this program has. There are other programs out there with better... Okay. Sometimes I'll just doodle. I love boxes and circles. All right, so we have, and we've done all of this on a layer, as you can see here. And some of the things you can do is you can copy down. So if I were to click copy down, it actually copies everything on the layer below it, which is one way, I guess, that you could definitely copy and paste. Uh, now, in this, there, there isn't a selection tool, um, or at least not one that is easily discernible. Um, I've been playing, I mean, other than if you come up here, right? If we do this select, so we can pick selection up here, right? And do a selection like that. And then if we come up here and we're gonna reorder the layer a little bit. Then if you click copy, oh, see, and that copies everything, okay? So copying down copies literally everything. Even though I have something selected, it's not working how I want it to do. So we have to look at other possibilities. One of the ways you can do that is if we press and hold, you can copy, and then press and hold a different one, and paste. Now notice, there we go. I have indeed copied a selection. So what I'm trying to say in all this is it's not intuitive. So let's do that again. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from the beginning so that you see 
what you have to do in order. So let's go ahead and discard these changes. We're just going to a new sketch. Okay, so here we go. We're going to make some brush marks. And we're going to freehand it. We're going to pick a brush that we like. Something like... Lots of custom brushes in here. That's rock top. There we go. Just do my name. Except the R runs into the Y. Oh, so here we go. So I've made a mistake. So let's spit. So we have to switch to select. And then we have to select. So we're going to select that. Then we have to go into our layers. You have to press and hold the layer. You have to copy. You press and hold on a different layer. And you paste. So now you see I have a second version here, which you can just move around. You can actually adjust as well by holding the four handles. OK. So let's click Done there. And then if we wanted to, come in and grab our eraser tool. Well, one would think, oh, there we go. So grab the eraser tool. There we go. I'm on the wrong layer, that's why. So let's increase the size. So we'll go jump back into layers, get on the right layer. Now we can erase this. Then we'd want to get rid of the selection. And so what we'd want to do is clear the selection, done. Then we grab our pen tool. Is too big now, so we're going to reduce the size. And then we can move this layer into position. See, and this is my problem. It's so, it feels so convoluted. And now we're done. So there we go. I'd clean it up, obviously. This is a very quick way of doing it, but so there is a copy and paste. So I hope that answers your question there, Raymond. It, uh, it's not intuitive. It took a little bit of figuring out, playing with, and ended up a uh, little bit of information on the net. But once you've got the information, you can use it. So Sketch Club is your drawing tool of to choice for the iPad. There you go. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoy the videos. As always, make sure you hit the like button if you're on YouTube watching this. If you're not, make sure you stop by and uh, say hi. Send me an email if you have any questions. That's terry.jakimiak at thedigitalpainter.com. I'm free to answer them, or you can just leave a message here in the YouTube comments. I check them pretty regularly. All right, that's it for this week. Keep on painting.